transpose of a matrix. And when you have any matrix, you basically have a box of numbers, and that box is going to be composed of rows, but it's also going to have columns. Rows are going to be going from left to right, so they go across, and then columns are going to be going up and down, so those are vertical. And for this matrix, it has two rows and two columns, so this is a two by two. And what we want to do is we want to take the transpose of that matrix. Now, the reason why it has a T up here is because the T is going to stand for transpose. The T is going to stand for transpose. So when you transpose a matrix, what you want to do is you want to write the rows as the columns. You want to take every single row and you want to write that row as a column. And we're going to get a new matrix when we do that, and it's going to be called the transpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first row, which is 1, 2, and I'm going to circle that in red. And I'm going to take this row, and I'm going to write it as the column. So I'm going to write that first row as the first column, 1, 2. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next row. I'm going to circle this 3, 4 down here. That's my second row. So I'm going to write that as my second column, which is going to give me 3, 4 as a column. And then I'm done. Once you finish up with all the rows, you got the transpose. So the transpose of matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 is simply 1, 3, 2, 4. Let's do another example. Let's say we want to find the transpose of a 3 by 3. Let's say we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9. This is a 3 by 3. The reason why it's a 3 by 3 is because it has 3 rows and 3 columns. So we always put the row number first and the column number second. So when I take the transpose of this 3 by 3, I'm also going to get a 3 by 3 in the end, but all the rows are going to be written as columns. So this first row, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to write that as the first column. Then I'm going to move on to the second row, 4, 5, 6, and I'm going to write that as the second column. I'll have 4, 5, 6. And then I'm going to take that last row down here, this 7, 8, 9, and I'm going to write that as the last column. So that's how you find the transpose of any matrix. You write the rows as the columns, and then you finish it up by writing down the brackets. So that's the transpose matrix. And this is also a 3 by 3. Just like the matrix that we started off with, they both have three rows and three columns. So, notice something special about the diagonal of this matrix. I'm going to circle all the diagonal elements, starting from the top left and going down to the bottom right. These are called the diagonal elements, 1, 5, and 9. And they're always going to be located on this main diagonal right here. So now, I'm going to circle the diagonal elements on this transpose matrix. And what you'll notice is, these diagonal elements are the exact same. The diagonal elements are the exact same. So the diagonal elements, or the diagonal entries, are unchanged. Unchanged by transpose. So whenever you have those diagonal entries, they're going to remain the same. But then, what about the other elements? Well, what happens is, they are reflected over the main diagonal, right? They're just kind of flipped over the main diagonal. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me change my color to blue. And let's look at this first element over here, this 2. Notice that the 2 gets flipped over in the next matrix. It shows up right here. So the 2 and the 4 are actually going to switch places. This 2 and this 4. They kind of flip over the main diagonal. And then this 7 and this 3, they're going to get flipped over the main diagonal so that the 3 lands over here 
and the 7 lands up here. And then the last two elements that we haven't talked about, the 8 and the 6, notice they also get flipped over the main diagonal. So that's what the transpose does in a 3 by 3 and that's transpose. All you're doing is you're interchanging the rows and the columns. You can take all the rows and you can write them as columns or you could do it the other way. You could start off by taking all the columns and write them as rows. So that's transpose and I hope that helps.